When I initially put Paris on her, I just knew I wanted to travel. This is my husband on if I see somebody coming towards me. My curl pattern up front is way looser. I feel like my button got bigger. They're cute and I got these from Play-Dohs because I needed them. And that's the pre-workout and the endorphins is giving y'all this motivation right now, okay? Hey, if you new here, I'm Asia G and if you're not, welcome back. So today, today I get to tell y'all something I'm so excited about, which is I am going to London and Paris which is on my vision board. Y'all wouldn't believe how much stuff on this vision board is actually coming to fruition. When I initially put Paris on her, I just knew I wanted to travel. Not necessarily that it had to be in France or that it had to be in the UK. That just kind of happened that way. And I do believe it had something to do with like the power of like visualizing what I wanted to do and kind of making not even a plan but just putting it out there and even though i don't look at this every single day i feel like subconsciously maybe i take it in so like if you know how your brain works your brain takes in everything around you but it filters through what's important so it may not bring like to the front of your consciousness everything around you but it takes in everything because it's filtering out what is important so in my mind having this vision board in my room like even though i'm not physically focus on it every day, my mind is like constantly putting it in the back of my mind that I'm working on these things. So I've already been to New York. Now I'm going to go to Paris and I'm going to go to London. And in this video, we are going to get ready for that trip. I need to do my hair, my nails. We're going to go through what I'm going to pack. I'm not really sure. I didn't buy a whole bunch of stuff to go to to go on this trip because Asia has clothes at home. Asia has clothes at home and Asia also has what? Finance goals. So I bought a few new things and I thrifted some things for the trip and so I will share that with you guys throughout this. But I just wanted to just really start it off talking about this vision board that I made in the beginning of the year. We went over this in June just like a six month update and if you haven't made a vision board maybe make one for the end of the year. Like just like for fall and winter or be thinking about what you want to do next year and just plan to stop by like Joann's or Michael's get you a little board make it fun get your friends together and make a vision board I really feel like this really made a difference I'm excited so I wanted to share that specifically to start this video off with gonna let this marinate while I eat dinner because it's 9.02 and I gotta get my food in before 10 and then it's gonna be time to figure core this thing and get it together. I don't know why I'm so excited. Yeah, I was dead sleepy before I got on this camera. But y'all do something to me. My YouTube family does something to me and my energy. Okay, let me get out this camera. look when it's wet then it dry up and it just shrivel up and I'm not gonna complain thank God I got hair you know thank God that I have the hair that I have that he blessed me with so just thank you say the complaints for later the next three products we're gonna use is the don't shrink the hydrating silk and then the seal it up butter so what we're going to do is read the directions I'm trying to figure out should I use the seal it up or the curl thing first this goes last And I usually do really big coils and then once it's dry, I pull them apart and they look like little straw coils or straw curls. I know what I'm missing. Mm. Up front is 
way looser than the curl pattern in the back. So you can see these almost look like a ribbon twist. And then if I show y'all like the back, they're tight like coils. They're way tighter. You do what you can. So once I get to this point, bam, my twist it up. We're going to do something that you think will make my hair crunchy and sticky, but it does not. It actually uh, works out really well to make it hold the curl and make the curl last once it dries. So I take this freeze spray and I like drench it, drench it with the freeze spray. And whenever I pull it apart, I use carrot oil. Like I pull it apart like a day or two later, like once it's dry, we're going to send it to dry today to speed up the process. Cause usually I let it air dry most of the time. And then like a day or two later, I'll just pull it apart with oil. And I pull it apart with oil, like my coat my hands and twist it out, like break these up with oil so that it doesn't get freezy. If you break it apart without oil, you have like freezy. It's still cute freezy, but it's gonna be freezy. And I'm really hitting the front because the front is what matters. All right, let's clean this bathroom up, sit under dry for a little bit. And then if I got energy, we're gonna do these nubbies. The nubbies, the nubbies need claws. Claws for my nubbies. <laughs> like a little dinosaur. <laughs> Sister, my nieces and nephews watching, tell them to come. Rare, rare. TT looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> We will do clothes tomorrow. And y'all already know how happy when you get your nails done. Just gotta talk with the hands. Good morning. Good morning. Que pasa hoy? Okay. Boy, I am nausea, y'all. I couldn't resist. I'm gonna go to the gym. It's early. I, it's early enough, and I have time to get in a lift, and then we're gonna come home. We're gonna try some clothes on. But I got up this morning and was like, you can just go try to close them then go to the gym. You know what I can do is go to the gym then come home, try to close them. And my goal is to wear makeup in Paris. Paris. I keep saying Paris, even though we in Paris in one day. My goal is to wear makeup on a trip. Pack makeup for New York and then I didn't wear the makeup. So it's like, you have the makeup Asia, you can put the makeup on, wear the makeup. So we're gonna wear a little makeup to the gym. How they relate, I don't know. But I just want to tell y'all because we have to do a gym face. Then we're gonna go for an hour. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna be responsible and pack for this trip. I've been feeling aggressive. I've been doing like a lot of this. A lot of this lately with my hands. And why I feel so aggressive? Calm down. Let's see, we're gonna use this Clinique.
And it's going to serve as packing. As I'm using all of my tools, I put them to the side so I know exactly what I need to pack. A little bit of blush. A little bit of mamba. Dun, dun, dun. Jim. Bam. I've been using this brow gel for like months. Look how small this is. It can't be no brow gel left in here. But they look good. They still look good. Make it last forever. Let's go to Let's put some deodorant on first, chat. Cause I do it. I roll up out here without not stitch deodorant on. Like we at the gym. Don't nobody appreciate that. y'all did y'all do some work today did y'all find a way to squeeze in some fitness into y'all schedule today 30 minutes an hour it could be a walk it could be youtube it could be a home workout like if y'all are watching this y'all probably want to be doing fitness working out even like small steps maybe you don't want to be lifting heavy weight but you want to be doing something start with a walk start with a walk outside start with a walk with glow on youtube just start just start and that's the pre-workout and the endorphins is giving y'all this motivation right now okay if the exercises ain't repetitive a little bit boring and a little bit heavier are we even in the gym are we even progressing ready watch me a little youtube and we're gonna try on some of the stuff that i think that i want to wear most of it is thrifty from either play-doh's closet or goodwill and then I, I bought like maybe one new thing from tj max that's a lie one new thing from tj max and i got me a new pair of shoes for the trip so let's go through all the new things and then we're gonna try on outfits all of my new things this shirt was new that i wore to the gym today and I've been just liking the look of like a shirt tied around my waist when I'm at the gym doing squats, working out, especially in those tights. I feel like my butt can get bigger, even though like I've lost like a little bit of weight, but I can make my booty more pronounced. Sometimes I'm just a little bit self-conscious about that, just, just a little bit, cause I, just a little bit in that. I'm gonna go to the gym on my trip, and so I wanna have like something to wrap around my waist there. I don't know if I got a shirt to match this skirt, but I saw this cute little a urban outfit little skirt at the Goodwill and it's like a little snap up skirt and I thought that's a moment I could wear a white button up but I feel like I bought one white button up and I'm wearing, planning to wear that white button up with every single thing and this just not gonna work out so I'm hoping to pack the skirt but I have to find what I'm gonna actually wear with it the next thing I got was this New York and Company red skirt I got this from the Goodwill like a little t-length skirt and then it has a split in it do y'all remember when good uh when new york and company was that store i don't know if y'all where y'all was like 2007 and 2011 between those four years but new york and company was this store gabrielle union was like a spokesperson from the store and she was that girl at the time so 
I got this. And then the one new thing, not one new thing, the one new clothing item that I got is just this little top from, I like a little fuzzy top from TJ Maxx. And I think the weather is going to be cold. Every time I didn't look at the weather for London, it has been like in the mid-60s. So I know I need to be warmer. It's not summer there. So like all of the summer stuff that I have out is not going to probably be appropriate. And I have a disease, you guys. A disease of just buying these shape frames. But anyway, they're purple and they're cute. And I got these from Play-Dohs because I needed them. I needed them. I had a pair of purple frames in my cart on Amazon. And it was $14 and I got these for like six. The next thing, oh, we're going to sit down now, y'all. My little legs. That gym session did what it was supposed to do. Make sure y'all ain't flashing, y'all. Make sure y'all ain't crooked. The next couple things that I got were just like bags to carry when we're out. We, me and my boyfriend travel, we are very much like walkers. We go on tour. We're going to go to a museum. We're going to walk around the whole place. We're going to go see a whole bunch of things. We're going to walk to like the restaurants. We just do a bunch of walking. And I think we'll do a little bit of running while we're there too. But mostly we do a lot of walking and sightseeing whenever we um our own vacation together so i have to reflect that like with the bags that i'm choosing to carry with the shoes that i'm gonna pack for this trip i'm keeping in mind like we are sightseeing whole vacation so i know in london they say stuff about like pickpocketers and stuff i don't know how true that is i ain't never been it's just what i heard so the bags that i bought were mostly stuff that may i make a carry crossbody like this or around my waist just so like I'm really aware, but I usually wear like crossbody bags where they just kind of hang. But I was like, no, let's try to be a little bit more conscious of like your items and where they are just in case. I also got this cute little case bag. It looked like a camera bag, a camera bag almost, but it's pretty big and it can hold like my cameras. That's the other thing. I was like, I need bags with space to hold my phone, my tripod, camera on film, y'all, which is my Canon G7X. Or my little GoPro that I have over there. The strap can go really, really short. And then I can just kind of wear it under my arm. Or I can wear it like this. Then I also got this cute little shoulder bag. So, I don't know why. But I thought this would be nice. And then it goes under my shoulder. So, like, bam. I'm going to wear it. But anyway, I'm here. This is my husband. I don't know if I see somebody coming towards me. I also bought this bag during my initial shop. But y'all don't think I like it. Now that I'm looking, I, I feel like I just had to have it because it had so many compartments in it. Now I'm like, I don't know if I really like this bag. Then the last thing that I got, and we're going to try these on with some clothes. I, I said I was going to take them back if I didn't like them, but I'm probably going to keep them. So these will double up as my pair of running shoes, gym shoes, and walk around shoes. So I got some new, uh, new Balance shoes. They're the 530s. And I just got them like in a cream and white color so i picked these up the other day to kind of round out what i have over there and then they like multi-purpose and i went up to the attic and i brought out all of my fall and winter clothing so let me pull that in here and then we're gonna try some stuff on <laughs> I'm not really feeling the I got in my last home workout. I'm all packed. Last night I just had to turn the camera off and just pack the clothes because I packed and unpacked, packed and unpacked. And I'm just like Asia. It's fine. Just put.
in the bag and let's go. That gave me the sleep last night. This morning I was like, I don't have that pack. So who knows what in the bag. I'm sorry for all that cussing. I know I bleeped it out. You could tell like I'm just not myself. And I cannot wait to fluff these curls. So I'm going to go catch my flight. And I will see you. I will see you in another time zone. In another country. My first real stamp on my passport. The girl is out of here. I'll see you guys soon. Until next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.